Yeah, there we go. Now we're more centered. All right. Are we gonna Are we gonna start now, or are we gonna wait a couple minutes yet? Do you want to wait a couple minutes? Wait a couple minutes. I want to rock out some more. Well, no. I mean, no. we're done walking. Now we're just talking. Okay, now we're here, talking. Here we're, we're talking. Look at us go. Ah, there we go. All did right. Give me another drink. I did. We are drinking the this thing. Yeah, racer five. Whatever. There's gonna it be is. five racers. It tastes funny. Uh, all right. Start on the hour. Good point. Make a picky. We have two minutes. See. Two minutes. Two minutes. Um, all right. So let's just re- reset uh, for people who uh, have not listened to the Who's the Boss podcast because it's been largely unavailable. Um, what are our basic thoughts? Uh, we've been up on this season generally, right? We yeah. this has been a good season. Would you say it's been a better season than the half season prior? Um, I don't know. Like, I, I feel pretty... It doesn't honestly, have the Doctor's like, Wife. The Doctor's Wife was well, one of the best Doctor Who episodes ever. Yeah. Um, well, but I the rest just, of that season blew a fat that's asshole. That's only because you don't like River Song. No, it's because the episodes sucked dick. Which one? Which which episode? The pirate episode sucked. The asshole. pirate episode the sucked. The two silence yeah. episodes sucked. Well, I don't want to get into this episode stuff yet until we're recording. So. Well, because no, I mean, listen, I we're we're. This episode. Do you have caffeine on here? What do you mean caffeine? Never, never mind. You don't know that. Um, keep talking. See, oh God, thank God, Mikko Pleck is here. Who's gonna fucking admit that what everybody knows in their heart that last season was generally shit? Eh, what do you want about that? All right, so uh, in general. Uh, I fucking hate River Song. That's probably a big difference between the two of us. Why are you peeling the labels of your mm. bottle of beer like you're fucking Cheryl Crow? What? <laughs> because I can. Isn't and that, because you're wrong. That's the I fucking. Like it's, the, it's the lyric. And fuck. All I wanna do. And Billy peels the labels off his bottles of bud. This isn't Bud, though, so it's different. Oh, okay. It's fucking listen. I made a really credible Cheryl Crow reference. Well, I think we should great. all be really excited about that. Um, okay, and see, I agree with Mika Blicky. I don't hate River, but I am over her. She was a good character, but it's been overused to death. I will agree with that. What? That's my whole point! But you said you hate everything about her. Hello, sweet. Yes, which is all in her being overused. I love, I'll tell you what, the episode I loved her in, the first episode. The fucking person who had been in the time stream with the doctor. Where she and dies. And she dies. Boom. You liked her because she, you like her where she dies. That's no, it. I thought she was great. She was great there. That was a great character. And, and, and people who are obsessed about the time stream element of Doctor I, Who, I that got, was a brilliant character. See, I got annoyed with her from the point forward where it's like, oh, she's the daughter. Because one, it was predictable. And well, and there, I, that's stupid and annoying. And by the way, and all right, now we're getting into elements of this episode. No, all right. Let's not get into that until we actually start the show. Okay. Do you want to just start the show? We're on, we're, we, uh, we're here. Are okay, you recording so, the no, audio? No, not yet. Cipher? Okay, we well go. then. Okay. How about you hit that little record button right there? Check, check, check. Okay, we're ready. Okay, here we go. And you do the intro. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Who's the Boss? It's like a boss, but where we talk about what is new and who. I am Ashley Paramore with my partner in crime that I've been arguing with for the last five minutes, Justin Robert Young. Uh, yeah. Hi. Listen. Um, here's the deal, folks. This is the uh, a very big episode of uh, the show, not only because it's the... I mean, they don't call it the fall finale, but that basically is what it is, right? You know, it's like a lot of shows now, like Breaking Bad or or The Walking Dead, where they kind of split their seasons up. This is no different. So. No, I mean, yeah, okay, it's annoying. Doctor won't be back until Christmas, so we got an entire holiday season to wait. But this is also the end of a gigantic arc, and really an arc that's been going since Stephen Moffat took over the show and Matt Smith became the Doctor, which is the story of Amelia Pond. It's over. Done. Done. Dead. B- bitch is dead. Uh, Spoiler alert, by the okay. way. She's dead. Well, yes. Yeah, all right. She's dead. Okay, so I, I really don't know where to begin. Also, we're live. Did I mention that we're live together? We, we are live. We are we're live, live together. Hey. Normally, we're over we're Skype. Live. Now we're live. All right. Uh... Do you want to talk about how much you like the episode before I start screaming and yelling? Or do you want to just let me scream and yell? Uh, let you scream and yell so I can refute your screaming and yelling. Because that's usually what happens. Okay. So. As an episode, there. Were, do you want to hear about the little things that bug me or the big things that bug me? Uh, let's start with the little and work our way up. Okay. Number one, fuck you, 
British people <laughs> with this fucking nonsense about all right if we did i understand using the statue of liberty as a monster okay one that just sits there with i can understand open. it but a shitty monster make it's a big fucking icon make it a good fucking monster okay like if we used the uh the the fucking london bridge as like just a stupid mouth that just went Mah. Mark, we're gonna eat cars because we're on the London Bridge. Mark. Like it'd be stupid. You'd be like, "Well, do something better with that." Ugh. Well, and and another... fucking with. I mean, like, and then they at the end when they have like uh, Rory's like, "Okay, for five seconds, just keep looking at it, keep looking at it," and then like they stop looking at it and they just look at each other and the stupid idiot, uh, you know. Statue of Liberty, which, by the way, is apparently running around Manhattan, and no one notices. The the city isn't in fucking anarchy about the fact that the Statue of Liberty fucking runs well, around and randomly New at York night. New York actually has a very low population, so, I mean... It exactly. Would be surprising sure, that it would be sure. Noticed, in 1936, so. uh, the, the Statue of Liberty is running around, and no one's like, Hey! Uh, you know, it's running around! I don't know, I don't know where I was going. Boy! Yeah. <laughs> Um, you know, another another thing, Statue of Liberty aside, which yeah. I thought was just funny. So we actually watched uh, the episode with your good friend of mine, OMG Chad. OMG Chad, uh, yeah. And sure. one of the first comments he made right off the beginning after Rory disappears, you see all these, like, cut scenes of the Doctor and Amy, like, running across New York. And he's like, yeah, they just ran, like, ten miles in three, three seconds. Okay, yeah, like, but that's, that's... It was cute. That's shooting stuff. I mean, all right. Eh. So here's the deal. Um... Is that that's a little thing. Uh, other than that, I don't, I don't know. the The construction of the episode seemed like just a rather tepid uh, way to kind of get to the end, and it's an end that was fairly unimaginative. Yeah, I I actually okay. So I was so so excited for this episode because, as you know, and and many people who have actually heard like all three people that have heard the podcast know sure. i love the weeping angels um they are probably my favorite villain in the doctor who series and okay i was very unimpressed with them this episode like so more so than the other the two-parter that they did i actually like the two-parter season. even though yeah. they were even though it was different it wasn't zapping them back in time i was very excited when i saw the previews and they alluded to like hey let's Let's zap some bitches back in time again. But they really didn't do as much as I would have liked them to have done. And even at the end, up to the point to where, like, Amy goes away, it's like, oh, it's it's cool. We'll just zap her back, too. And, you know, BFFs. Hey. I I don't know. I, w- I was really disappointed in the Angels this episode <sighs> on the whole. Like... I mean, I thought they were okay. I mean, like, in terms of the beats of what you want from an Angels episode, number one, they did the one thing that I really, really wanted them to, to bring back, which is the element that they zap you back in time as opposed to, uh, you know, putting you, uh, you know, just murdering you, right? Yeah. Uh, th- I like that, and that's something I'm very happy they brought back. You got the t- the, the, the beat-for-beat uh, creature moments were, were good. You know, you have your... You know, like, look here, look here, uh, you know, they, they're closer. You had a, a few could, you know, it, it's basically a jump scare creature. You know, like, like people talk about in horror movies that it's cheap to do jump scares where all of a sudden just like, ah, like something's like really close to you and it just startles you physically. This is a jump scare creature in terms of you. that's when you see it because you can't see it move. Uh, and people were upset when you did see it move in slow motion uh, last time. See, so I, I wasn't upset by that, but well, I liked some people the last were one. because it violated kind of the element of of what we expect from the creature. Uh, those elements didn't bother me in particular. The the angels as creatures didn't bother me, and really the fact that their plan was kind of stupid and silly didn't bother me because they're not supposed to be. I never understood them to be crazy intelligent. You know, they're they're kind of like feral animals in terms of uh, Doctor Who villains. They're not the Cybermen which are very, very well organized. They're not the Daleks, which are supposed to be incredibly intelligent and the greatest war race in the history of the universe. Uh, they're just these like kind of feral dogs that sort of go around zapping people uh, back in time. So Apparently that organized didn't bother to me. have their own damn building. Well, I think that they're, they're yeah, and that's 
whatever. I mean, that, that I can kind of forgive. You, you want to know what I can't forgive? This, the Amy Pond story, just a, as of now, is just bullshit. It's just like, there's no point. There's no arc. There's no, like, if not Rose. Rose was the person who was brought from nowhere who fell in love with the doctor and, you know, had her arc and, and was eventually taken away. She was a casualty. And then we see uh, Tennant deal with her loss and losing her when he's with Martha. You know, uh, she, Martha is, is a transitional kind of companion who he feels like they're... Re rebound part... girlfriend. Basically, yeah, no, you know, she's a rebound uh, where, you know, uh, he's he's brusque and everything. He's he uh, He can't connect to her in the same way because he feels an absence of Rose. Uh, you know, who knows whether or not we'll see some of those elements with, uh, Oslin. with, uh, with Oswin, who's, who's coming up and will be introduced in the, uh, in the, uh, you know, the, the Christmas episode. But like, what did we learn with, with Amy and Rory, especially considering that they're the first married couple uh, on, uh, you know, as companions on the series beyond that marriage is good. And marriage makes you like somebody. Like, and that's ultimately what we get. And by the way, all the awesome conspiracy theories on Reddit about uh, about the the what's it called? About how that every time we saw them this season, they were all in different time streams, and all the fucking like Amy's got weird jobs, and and we never know what that element is. Yeah, sorry, all stupid. It was all nothing. Uh, they're just gone. They're done. It there seemed, was no element to that. It seemed like Bye. such a cheap shot to take them out, like in the way that they were taken out. Um, that's well, oh, just because they had no other plans. They just were not. They. they uh, it's well, a failure by Stephen Moffat. A failure. Well, Capital look, F. Look at look at how it happened too. So like this entire time, like the way we see, um, the entire thing progresses. It, it's like. Things always wind up being in the Doctor series, like this never giving up thing. And all of a sudden, like, hey, look, Rory got zapped back again. I guess we're just going to call it quits. See you later, Amy. Um, we're not going to try and do something. Or, like, I, I actually expected it to end a little bit more grim than it did. Like With one of them dying. With, with yeah, with Rory finally actually dying for real. They would uh, Opposed do that. to the last They would time. never do that. It's like a running joke now, but... But I, and that and that's and, Moffat, by the way. Moffat jerking off in everybody's face is at the beginning of the season saying, oh, no, don't worry. Some people will die in this episode. You'll see people die in this episode. And, yes, we see old Rory die. So have a titter, Moffat, at all of our expense. And, and listen, I'm, I'm mad at Moffat because I, I love his writing. I very much enjoy Stephen Moffat's writing. I enjoy his tenure on Doctor Who. But... I was not a fan of where we went with the ponds. I'm just if that's the end, if the end is that we have a we have a fairly standard bottle episode. If that was just an episode that didn't end with them leaving, it would be a standard episode. It would be an yeah. okay episode. Yeah, I I just feel like they could have gone out so much better than they actually did. Yeah. Like with an actual bang, and that I don't know. It just didn't didn't get me hard, to to say the least. So, I'm I'm disappointed, Mr. Moffat. Yeah. All right, keep talking. I'm gonna get a, a tissue. Uh, yeah, you're you're like... pretty disgusting. Uh, Justin is actually a sick bastard um, that is snotting all over the place. But um, keep going. I'm trying to think if there, if there's anything that I really really liked about the episode. Because like I said, for me, the entire thing was a real letdown. Um, just because, I don't know, it, it, it just didn't hold me. I think if there's anything that I did like, talk about the I thing guess, we will yell about. is, no, I'm not going to talk about the thing we will yell about yet. Um, the one, the one thing that I did like, um, was finally seeing the doctor have to let go of them. And I am curious, and I guess you kind of said this a little bit earlier, but how, they're really going to, or how the doctor rather is going to deal with their departure. Is uh, Oswin going to be another rebound girlfriend like Martha, or you know, I don't know. Well, I think Oswin so far, and who knows? Somebody said, "Will she be Oswin?" We, we don't know. I mean, who knows? Um, you know, I, I 
I think she's a very interesting character. At least the character that we saw in the Asylum of the Daleks was an interesting character. Oh, should we get into that? Because somebody was talking about Twitter on that. Like, do we want to get into the Oswin thing? Oh, okay. Well, here let, let's let Oswin will be the postscript to okay. this because we, let, let's. We I think we still have more to go with the Ponds, especially and and I'll get into this very specifically. The the best element, the best episodes of the Pond era were without Rory. Now, I'm not going to say that Rory was bad, like, and that he was a, a bad element of the show, because I think he could have been good. But the most interesting element that we ever saw with Amy Pond was the girl who didn't, who wanted to go on an adventure before she got married and wasn't sure whether or not she wanted to get married. Mm-hmm. Uh you know, I, I I think that without that, as soon as we resolved that, it was uninteresting, and and we had a ready-made way to have this be a great couple episodes, and that is what they started the season with, which was the idea that Amy and Rory had gotten divorced, and we resolved that in one episode, when I don't think we needed to, like if we went this entire thing of Amy and Rory being divorced and, and, and understanding why they got divorced and, and then ultimately reconciling by the end of it, just in time to get zapped back in time and live forever in 19, the 1940s, then like that would have been great. That would have been fantastic. That would have been a, an interesting thing to do and at least more interesting than just seeing more of the same of them as a happy married couple. Yeah, but and that, that's the... And this is a bigger problem in general when it comes to like movies and television. We actually had a really long okay, argument. We actually had a really long argument about freaking Looper the other day, yeah. um, in regards to happy yeah. endings. And I don't know. I I would have liked to have seen the whole thing just end so differently and not be the happy ending that things always are with Doctor Who. But am I too quiet? Yes, you are. Okay, but go ahead. Well, all right. So, I, I'm disappointed. I'm very, very underwhelmed by the uh, by by the Amy arc. Uh, I'll just I'll just say that uh, the episode I thought was okay. I mean, it wasn't terrible. There were little things that bothered me, but it wasn't great. It wasn't a and especially because the legacy of the angels. We love the angels because the angels were introduced in one of the best bottle episodes of science fiction. Ever written by Stephen Moffat, you know, Blink was it. It is. It is like if you were to look at science fiction, which genre programming in general is all guided on a rule rubric, right? We look at how you use the elements of the genre, how do you twist it, how do you evolve it, how do you work within it, and and that's what we love about it. It was amazing and took unnecessary risks. It was a it was a, a a teleplay that takes away the main character for which everything revolves around, puts a unknown into the middle of this situation, has us only dealing with people that we've never met before, and is amazing. It's gorgeous, and and you know we've never seen anything close to that specifically with the angels, and this was a to have a middling episode like this, not only be an angels episode but also be a farewell episode. Is just disappointing, and so that's I think my all I have to say. Except for can we can I do a little bit on River? Can we do it later? Well, fine, okay. fine, just do it, just do it, just get it over with. Go, go, jury. I'm just gonna sit here and drink my beer. <sighs> Not that I'm drinking on the podcast. Ah, fucking River. Oh my god. Ah. I oh my I swear to God, if this would have been the farewell to River Song episode, I would be I would just be so excited. So excited, but no. We're left with the lingering threat. The lingering nuclear I am more looking forward to Iran getting a nuclear bomb than the next fucking River Song episode. Okay? She's a useless character. Why why was she why was she needed in this episode? Give me one I, reason. One honestly, plot reason. Honestly, I think she's way better played out as a character in this episode than she has been in the others. What did she do? I just liked her better. She was a person who wrote a book. You could have had anybody do that. You could have had a random person that they meet, that Rory meets. He just is like, where am I? Where am I? 1936? Who are you? An author? Like, and then fucking boom. They could have written that thing. Like, 
it, it's she. There was no resolution to the her being the daughter of the pawns, right? Right. Uh, so there was nothing there, which was the entire point of last season, theoretically. Uh, she had no, like, what was even the whole like why'd you lie to me thing? How did she get out of the fucking grip? I I. Well, we don't know, obviously, because they, they don't show how she got out of the grip. And then he time heals he, her. He time heals her, but, like, the idea was to, like, not let you – Well, and she kind of used some BS reason um, afterward to not let the doctor see, like – what was the, the phrasing she used? Like, well, she mentioned the get old thing, but there was don't something let, else that she don't said. Don't let him see you age. He doesn't like endings. Yeah, but she had another excuse for, like, why she lied about it. Uh, all right. So, by the way, uh, we were recording this live, and people are watching us, and they're talking back. Uh, Meb Diano says, River's a fun character. If you hate River, then you must hate Captain Jack. I don't hate Captain Jack. I think Captain Jack's fine, you know, because he is used, at least in the Doctor Who series. Of course, he has Torchwood and everything, which I, and, I haven't seen Torchwood. And he's really, really cute. He's a really – he's a he's a handsome man, uh, which at least – he is a handsome man, and he is played like a handsome man, as opposed to fucking River Song, who's Mrs. Huxtable, well, they, and is played like a fucking femme fatale. They they kill him off though, like way least, earlier on. And but, at least at least she was not played like a femme fatale in this episode. I, that's always been my thing. She wasn't played like a femme fatale in this episode. Well, and that's why I said I think like she was played off as a better character yes. in opposed to previous episodes. That was my whole point. Now, do I think she needed to be in this episode? No, I don't think she did. But you know. Oh, hello, sweetie. Oh, sweetie. Oh. Oh. oh, hello, doctor. And it's like, it's just, it's so fucking awkward with the the most asexual doctor of the rebooted, you know, uh, series to have him be the one with, like, a wife. And they're calling each other wife and husband. And yeah, I weird. thought that was really weird. Ugh. Ugh. It got, it got all super traditional marriage in uh this episode between I'm uh sorry, or, like honey, really emphasizing traffic was hell Ugh, what a vomit Ugh, fuck river song i swear to god she's the worst character on television period end of sentence He's wrong. end of sentence okay mm, you know something that that bothered me at what th with this episode um, River Song? Because no. I have a lot of thoughts on River Song. No, like, okay, so in every episode you ever see of the Doctor, unless it's a two-parter, um, he saves the world in one way or the other. Yeah. Um, and when it comes to this Angels thing, after Amy and Rory are gone, he just gives up. Like, quits. Doesn't try and rectify the situation in New York. Instead, yeah. just kind of, like, flies off with... With hello, sweetie. sweetie. Okay, yes. um, and, and this is and this is the problem of writing so writing your way out of so many problems. Uh, <laughs> continue, continue. This is okay. So uh, this is the I mean, and Doctor Who. Listen, Doctor Who constantly, always, uh, and I mean Doctor Who the show, not necessarily the person. Uh, constantly writes themselves out of problems. They get themselves into, a, they literally obliterate the universe. They obliterate all of time. And then it's like, oh no, wait. If only I'd turn the flippity flop and wheel. And I circled three times yeah. and then, hopped on one foot and tapped my head and rubbed yeah. my belly. Then everything goes back to normal. Yeah. And it's like, you can only do that so many times. And then when it's like, oh wait, hold on. Um, it's a fixed point in time. And uh, they're back in a different part of history. Like, like well then just, Write yourself out of it. Like, just, eh, you know, figure it out. And they don't. I mean, but ultimately, it's like, they might as well just be like, like, hi, uh, where are the actors who play the characters? We're not going to be on the show anymore. So, uh, bye. Okay, thanks, bye. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, people in the chat room keep saying, the fact is that the doctor just lost his family. And that is, the story-wise, what we are told is happening now the doctor has lost his family many many times before in fact that might be a uh, is rather a defining element of this character this ageless time god as river song says uh that he does he constantly loses everybody you can't live as long uh, as as you are and be the kind of person that the doctor is unless you lose people constantly so yes this is another one of those episodes and, and that will hopefully bear out uh, going forward, and I think it will, but 
It doesn't mean this episode's good. I mean, again, it's one of these things where I still enjoyed the episode, and maybe that's be just because I am, you know, my, my entire religion is Whovian. Yeah. So, I I don't know. This entire episode for me, on the whole, was a letdown, though. I expected more to happen with the seeing off of Amy and Rory, and I expected a lot more out of the Angels, just because they've been such a badass villain, like, up to this point, and while yeah. they're still doing the sending back in time thing, like... The, the the entire episode felt unresolved, and the things that they tried to resolve were really, really shitty. All right. Well, uh, looking forward, we're not done with the ponds. The ponds are gone. The pond has dried up. Uh, we are now in the OE, the Oswin era. It's so cheesy. And we don't know. Uh, well, and people are saying, you know, do we know that her name will be Oswin? No. But I'm calling it the OE. And until I'm told differently, which will not mean until after that episode airs, I will be drinking. And, and I challenge all of you to drink uh, to get Old English quarters or forties for the Christmas episode. Folks, with Christmas dinner, <laughs> <laughs> remember to have yourself an old English. I will be tweeting out. Let, 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 we'll lead this up to the next episode. We'll, we'll have hashtag OE, Oswin era. It's coming, folks. And uh, what would you like to see? Uh, now we've just had a big thing wrapped up. What would you like to see to begin the Oswin era? We only had three shots in, in the next week on. That was terrible. So we're we're watching the the episode, the credits go by, and we're like, good, the previews are coming, and it's just three cuts of like, here's Doctor, here's Oswin, here's something else, done. Yeah. Um. What? So what? What do I want in the Oswin era? Um. <laughs> Why'd you make that voice? I, because it do was the, awesome. Do the little British boy voice. <laughs> Oi! I can't do mic. it. I can't do it. You've been doing it all day. No, it's terrible. I feel like no, you're there's, great. There's you're actually British doing great. You're doing here. great British voice. No, I, I do don't. British voices all the time. He's full of shit. Oi, I'm a little British boy. <laughs> That's good. Get Tell me how excited you are for the new for the Christmas episode of Doctor Who. I'm bloody. <laughs> no, I'm done. I'm done. I can't. I can't do it now. Do it, no, do it, I'm do it. Just get through one sentence. <laughs> Just go ahead. Talk to the mic. Oi. I'm excited for Doctor Who. We'll go. We'll go watch some Doctor, eh? That's Canadian. <laughs> okay, You're pretending no, I like can't, you don't do I a great impression. No, I do a terrible impression. All right. Uh, so, what would you like to see in the in the Oswin era? What would you like to see from Oswin the Companion, especially now with the way the Amy wrapped up? I don't know. So, like, by looking at the Asylum of the Daleks episode, she's very. Her entire personality has been very doctor-like and super, super smart, crazy off the hook, and I yeah. I love that. Um, but that's in part because I. The only female character that Stephen Moffat can write <sighs> is the hyper intelligent, hyper capable femme fatale. But she seems like in in Asylum of the Daleks, she seems like above and beyond what Amy yes. has oh, been or what so. yeah. what River has been, and so on. So. I'm really curious no, she is in the... She's basically River. She's what River is written as. Except she's better. actually hot. And not Mrs. Huxtable. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Anyway. Um, <laughs> River song. The River is a little dirt. Bill Cosby. <laughs> anyway. So Where I... Where are you going to get him some pudding pops? Bill Cosby. I really find River song attractive. Okay. Go to hell. Um, also, I so I would like to see her. Is it really bad that when I see her introduced, I want to see her really, really dumb? Oh, so there's like, an I, arc. I, I would like to see more of a development into her, like, yeah. becoming crazy changed. Um, where Amy and uh, Rory had gone through some change, so on and so forth. Um, no, real quick, uh, Zach Holder, who, by the way, is the patron saint of, of not only this podcast, but us always getting Doctor Who episodes. Uh, I, I won't say. Well, you mean we we watch it together? We all watch of us. it. That's... Yes, we all go to Britain and we watch it together in a flat in London, and uh, that's what happens. So uh, he says that hyper intelligent, 
super capable females are the only uh, characters that Stephen Moffat writes. That's what I said. He says, you mean the same type of characters that Joss Whedon writes? I would say yes, except Joss Whedon also gives them superpowers. <laughs> That's so, actually that's actually like true. that's that, you know, and so like when he wrote Astonishing X Men, who do you think he based the entire series around? Of course it's Kitty Pride, the super hot, intelligent, hyper capable girl with superpowers. And also, um, I borrow bought t- s- 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 a twenty three says Jerry Ashley. They need to resolve how the Doctor has become unknown in the universe. I think that really had to do with in part when Oswin did the Dalek thing. No, it, that or? was that was the end of last season. Becoming unknown he to was, the universe? No, he was dead, and then... The, oh, oh, no, no. But not Osmond. dead, but becoming unknown. Becoming she unknown, killed a yeah. man that never existed. Yes. Is, is so what, that, was, that was the Oswin thing. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no. So, I mean, I guess... Uh, yes. No, we, we still have to understand why that spread beyond, or else we're supposed to understand that the Doctor has done that off camera. And really, either would surprise me. Like, if they keep dealing with it, it wouldn't surprise me. If they don't, and they just say, like, oh, yeah, no, you're supposed to get that off camera, then whatever. So did you actually like anything about this episode? Was there anything you enjoyed, aside from badgering? No, I, thought, I thought that the, the horror... Hello, sweetie. Well, I, I fucking hate River, and that's a, that's ah, a known that's, thing. I, I said besides her. Um... Something that you liked? Was there anything you liked about? No, this I liked. Listen, I mean, number one, I thought that there were good emotional beats. I, I thought that uh, by the end of it, with Rory and Amy up on the uh, top of the uh, the building, I think they could have even driven that a little farther. And instead of padding the ending and saying like, you know, like, no, uh, we're gonna kill ourselves to save the world, instead of saying, well, we think it will will come back to life. Like, if it would have been a suicide pact to save the world, I think that would have driven that home maybe even a little farther. But the way that we did it and the way that we saw it was was fine. I mean, I was emotionally invested in whether or not they were going to live. And, and you know, I was I was certainly brought in on, uh, you know, saying goodbye to them and that being the moment that we did say goodbye to them. Um, Is it bad that, like, them jumping off the roof with the suicide thing, like – kind of hope that they wouldn't come back and that would have been the... how we say goodbye to them yeah no i mean that would have been that would have been a shock person? that would I mean, no i mean you are a, t- a terrible person but like that doesn't make you a terrible person um thanks so yeah i, I think that was that was fine you know the idea of, of the jump scare at the end um you know that was that was okay i, I think there's uh I mean, the episode was was all right. Uh, it was just it just there's a higher standard placed on an episode where we're saying goodbye to characters that we've been with for how many hours? You know, for forty plus hours. Like, there's just a higher standard to that. Yeah, maybe less than forty. Well, thirty five. And not and not not even just that. Like again, for me being the fan of the bad guy all the time with yeah. with the angels. Um, even though I know you hated last season's Angels episode, I I still enjoyed it, even though it was different. And I would have liked to have... I felt like that the Angels weren't to the top of their game either. Like, it was just... Well, you're just they, a bit, they, they we're talking about what we liked. What did we like? What did I like? What did I... Oh, God. But I don't know if I liked anything particular. I mean, I enjoyed the episode, but I guess at the... I was pleased with them leaving but i knew that they were already oh, gonna leave okay wait uh snowshoe points did. out a uh, very very good point i wonder if rory's dad will ever forgive the doctor they made mm. a big a big point of introducing rory's dad this season uh do you think we will see rory's dad again that would be really interesting you know i wonder if they'll try and bypass that to be honest um but i i you know, I kind of hope we do. I kind of hope we do. Oh, so we have that, that, yeah. that tension. Um, I will say this. Uh, Doug in, in the chat room says photography was spectacular. It's been great all season. I'll oh, tell you yeah. I, th- I think it's been spectacularly shot. Um, all right. Well, I guess that uh, wraps it up for this episode of Who's the Boss? Uh, if you are watching this live, um, we don't yet have an iTunes feed. So subscribe to the Frog Pants Super Feed. And uh, you will find our episodes there. We are a part of the Frog Pants Network. And uh, that is about it 
Follow uh, Ashley at Healthy Addict, me at Justin R. Young. And uh, now, sweetie, you have understood, even without the pawns, who's the boss? There, we're done recording now. Yay! We are. What does that mean? Uh oh, it's a troll, probably. Okay. Um. So guys, we have uh, Chad here. We're gonna go out and have a good time. But uh, is Chad back in the house or is he? Yeah, Chad's huh? here. Chad, come here. Did you light a candle? It smells like a candle or something. Brett might have. Oh, okay. You guys stink. Hey, look, it's Chad. Oh, oh MG. MG, it's, it's Chad. Chad. Saving the world <laughs> Hanging around with an iPad behind us. OMG, <laughs> it's sad. <laughs> uh, all right, so we're going to go out into the streets of Oakland. If you're in the streets of Oakland, then, then uh, holler at us. Look, my pants match his hair. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Chad's going to put... I just punched you in the face when I was Chad's going to put Ashley Hashtag on his Nitro. shoulders, and you won't know where one ends and the other begins. <laughs> Um, I'm going to camouflage in a paint. <laughs> Weirdest phoner ever. Uh, it's a Weibo. MK Pelkey says Weibo. Um, <laughs> all right. So uh, check. See you guys later. And me. And, uh, yeah, we're going to have um, a good time. Are we ever going to do anything else on this again between the Christmas, before the Christmas stuff? Are we going to do – because it would be fun to do other live stream stuff. Are we going to do live stream stuff? I mean, like, I don't... The whole point of the Who's the Boss podcast is that it happens when Doctor Who happens, and I don't have to do it every week. Because I'm editing it, I'm posting it. If you want to fucking do all that shit, then do it. That That's actually an interesting idea. I don't know if you would be interested in this at all. We can talk about it more later, but you should. You two should do old episodes, like go on Netflix and, like, start watching old crappy shit. I mean, like, time. Wibbly if I were If I were a time lord... I could, uh, I could do that. Well, we wouldn't have to record, like, actual podcasts, but we could go live and... People are saying uh, if we did commentaries. I would not mind doing commentaries. Throughout the show? No, no, no. Could do, like, our favorite episodes and just, like, watch our favorite episodes and and do commentaries and people could play them along. I'd be up for that. I wouldn't wouldn't mind doing that. We should talk about that over several more drinks. How did you break your high sound thing? What do you mean? Break what? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Not my fault. Um... Anyway, yeah, so that's it for who the boss, like a boss, and uh, who the boss, who the boss, and yes, yeah, so for whoever asked, I, that is Chewbacca uh, on Chewbacca. the wall. Signed, by the way, by Peter Mayhew. Uh, Starling. Diamonds are forever. Oh my God, fucking River Song. You know, go to hell. Each chick go to hell. Song, it's me, Bill Cosby. I will find you very attractive because you look like my wife, Mrs. Huxtable. You're a fucking whiny bitch. Who's got like, a put a pot for River okay, Song? Okay, my name River is Song Cosby. is bad, but she's not as bad as your fucking face. <laughs> go to hell. See? River Song is the best character ever. Thank you, well, Craig. Craig. Why don't you tell Justin Robert fucking jury Craig that? Craig Bickerstaff is wanted for murder. All right, well, bye. <laughs> go to hell. <laughs> Love you guys. Even Craig Biggerstaff. Bye. <laughs> We're still live. Oh, <laughs> you saw-